So guys, we make, I will learn how to make this simple COVID-19 defending Photoshop. As you can see, this is the layer that we use and work on the project. It's not that much, but uh, it's the layer that we use. So yeah, I write something like stay home or smile with COVID-19 just to create awareness. So what we'll be doing in this uh, tutorial is just, it's a very, very short one. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the image that I'm using. We have four pieces of image. I'm going to grab the first one, All right? I'm just going to open it into Photoshop. Like so, I'm going to open it in a new folder. That is in a new window, right? I'm going to order out and double click to unlock the layer. So what I'm going to do next is to grab my pen tool. So I'm going to grab my pen tool and I'm going to zoom in. Tell her find a very good uh, location to cut out and I'm going to zoom in. Hold down space and drag. Now when you hold down space, you see something like a palm. So you use it and drag. All right, hold down space again and drag. So I'm just going to hold down shift and just draw. Now then I'm just going to curve this thing so slightly just like so. I'm going to set, set it down and just create this. So I'm doing this very fast so you can take your time why you cut this. Why you cut this. I have a perfect selection. I'm going to cut within this trouser. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to select it better. That's it. So what I'm going to do next is to uh, go to my path, put down control and just load the selection. Right. Next thing to do for me is to uh, Thing for me to do is to go to invert the selection. I'm going to go to selection and invert it. Go back to layer panel and then add uh, layer max. This is going to wipe out all the all the background that we have already. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So the next thing for me to do is to grab our second image that we're using. I'm going to be grabbing the coronavirus image. I'm just going to drag it into Photoshop straight, like so. I'm just going to click here. I'm going to drag it beneath our, beneath our first image that we have cut out already. So I'm just going to place it drop back. I'm going to hold down Ctrl T and just place this profile. I'm going to reduce it a little bit. So I want it to fit in properly into, the, into our artboard. This will do. So I'm going to uh, click on my check mark to commit the change. So that's it. So the third thing to do is to, uh, we are also going to grab our our other image but well, let's see if this is properly placed okay a little bit of adjustment to do. so uh that's it so the next thing to do is to uh so grab the second image i'll be using that is the third no grab this one so i'm going to leave leave the, the i'm going to leave the link in the description below so that i get all these images that i'm using in this tutorial so i can also download the slide flow so that i can follow along I'm going to click on my check mark here. Right, so this, this, image is very, this image is going to be very easy to select because we have a complete white background on this image. So it's very easy for us to select. So what I'm going to do here is just to grab my uh, magic wand tool. So you can right click and get your magic wand tool, as you can see. So after doing that, I'm just going to click on anywhere, any part of the image that is the black, that is the dark background. So when I click it, all, all the images are the, the the, the, the uh, all the part of the image are going to be selected. So then I'm just going to click on uh, rasterize. Uh, by rasterizing it, I will just click on delete on my keyboard, that delete key, and this is going to wipe out all the black area from the image. Like so, the next thing to do is just to place it on our image. I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to place it on top of the the, the coronavirus icon or coronavirus image. I'm going to place it properly now. something like this so I'm just going to apply layer marks now applying layer marks we want to remove those we want to remove the hand we want to clean we want to clean some, some part of the image I want to erase it so I'm going to get my brush to go back to brush I'm going to shoot a choose a soft round pressure brush I'm going to collapse that but I'm just going to remove some part of the image So I'm going to wipe out for this part of this image. Take my time to remove them. I'm going to zoom in so that I have a precise uh, so, that, so, that, so that I can see it properly when erasing it. 
even zoom in like this. So that's it. So the next thing to do is to uh, next thing to do. To grab our 40 inch dice for this uh that is this one we're gonna grab grab this one I'm gonna place it here I'm gonna click for my check mark now what we just need is just I'm gonna use my lesser to to just cut just select just cut cut the face that is the mouth part so in case I'm wondering I'm, I'm using the lesser to so as a lesser to I'm gonna right click I'm gonna right click on the image that is the select that is the selected part. I'm gonna choose select by the select by copy. So this is gonna copy there on the new part. And I'm gonna uncheck the visibility of the first one. So I'm gonna place this right click just like so. I'm gonna reduce this. I'm gonna apply layer marks. I want to change this to smile so that we can identify the layer. Then apply layer marks to it. I'm going to get my brush to. I'm just going to wipe out some, some part of the image. Some part, I'm just going to wipe it out. Wipe out some part. Yeah, something like so. I'm going to drop this. Okay, so I'm just going to set this properly now. Use it. Okay, so I'm going to select my data and just going to raise this up. something like that now what I'm going to do next is to create a new layer all right so we want to apply a glue to that shoe I'm going to get my pen to and just select it I'm just going to create a selection on the sole of the shoe I'm going to zoom in and select it all right so uh, what I'm going to do here is to change the I'm gonna change the, the I'm gonna rename the layer I'm gonna name it to uh shoe glow effect shoe glow effect not click on enter now what I'm gonna do here is to get my selection to then load it All right as you can tell I'm gonna get my paint bucket to click here as you can see the color I'm gonna choose this color zero zero E C B click OK I'm just gonna fill it on the selection I'm going to drop it as you can see now what I'm going to do next is to apply effects to it I'm going to choose my little effect I can go to blending and options then choose outer glue then I'm going to increase it I'm going to double click here I also choose this color so in case you wonder which color I'm using so this is the color right there so go ahead and copy it I'm going to click on OK and I'm just going to increase the size a little bit I'm going to increase the size so that the so that our glowing effect can show properly. Yeah, something like that. I'm gonna go to inner glow. So I'm going to increase it. Let me a little bit, and I'm going to. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So that's it for the for the. I'm gonna collapse collapse that effect. Now the next thing to do, I'm gonna create a new layer. And I want to apply something like a shadow. That's like a glowing shadow beneath the shoe. So I'm gonna write shadow glow effect. Shadow glow effect as the name of the layer, so that I can also remember it. Now the next thing to do is just to get my brush to and just paint beneath. Increase it a little bit. 
then paint beneath. Make sure that this this color is selected. Click OK. I'm just going to paint paint that paint this part. Add something like that. Click OK. So I'm just going to bring this up for here. So that's it. The next thing to do is to uh, change this to uh, multiply. Now, if you change the multiply, this is what you get. But I don't want to change the multiply. So I'm going to put it to normal back. So the next thing for me to do is to uh, to convert this into a smart object. So that I can add, so that, so that I can add a, uh, that I can add a blur to it. So I'm going to convert it into a smart object. And one of the good things of connecting something to a smart object because we can always go back and change the effect. So if something is on smart object, I'm going to go back to blur and then Gaussian blur. All right, so I'm just going to change this. As you can see, the as you can see for from our preview area, the the listen has changed. As you can see, look and see this. So I'm going to reduce this. I'm transforming this uh, this uh, shadow in case you want to move it for enter. Now, as you can see, if I click on Ctrl T again, I can, I can adjust this again. Yeah, something like that. Alright, if I click, if I if I, if I double click my Gaussian blur, I can adjust this the way I want. Click OK. So something like this is fine. Now, the the, the other thing that we can do is that we can apply. The last thing we can do here is that we can apply a uh, can apply color lookup to this mister so the color changes so that we have something like a more a more advanced uh, so, that we, so that we have something like a, a more advanced color so I'm going to choose color lookup all right I'm just going to go go to I'm going to choose so there are different kind of colors here so you can choose the one you like in case the one that I'm using. It's not something you really like, so you can choose the one you like. But the one that I'm going to be using is going to be uh, you can choose the one you like. So there are different kind of colors here. So I'm going to be choosing choose my drop down color here. I'm going to be choosing a uh, late sunset. All right. So applying late sunset, you see that the initial glow has changed from from cyan to something else. Now, if I decide to drag this down, this color look up down is that it will affect the, the shadow. As you can see, the shadow is affected. If I drag this down again, it also affect this color. That's because the color look up is beneath those, those, those effects. So if I take it up, it will also change, as you can see right here. So that's one thing I want you to know about this color look up. I can, I can talk with the button, check it, and you see how it, how it really looks like. Okay, so, did, so, so this is it. This is it as you can see. Let me zoom out a bit so that I see. Let me zoom in again. Now, if we go back to the previous one, this is the previous one that, that, that I showed you, and this is the new one. This is the previous one, and this is the new one. So, there's little difference between the two. This is the end of the tutorial. So, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.